Welcome to Mumbai, the financial and entertainment capital of India. The city next to the Arabian Sea that will show you some of the most beautiful sunsets you have ever seen, feed you some of the most delicious foods you have ever eaten, and in general, just surprise you by what you can see every single day in the streets. Hi, my name is Ivana and Mumbai is my favorite place in the world. Let me show you some awesome things that you can see and do and eat in this amazing city. Before we get you completely up to speed on the must-dos and must-eats in Mumbai, it's good to have a general idea of the layout of the city. From a tourist perspective, the city is divided in two main parts. The south, where you can find Kolaba and Marine Drive, and the north where you can find Bandra, Juhu, and Andheri. The easiest way to get the best experience of Mumbai is to pick either the north or the south for a day to explore. Please don't try to do Mumbai in like one day because you will get extremely frustrated by the traffic and that will probably not give you a good impression of the city. <music> Let's start with South Mumbai because this is where most of the important sites are. The Gateway of India, next to simply being a gorgeous structure, also has major historical significance for India. This is where the last British troops left India following the country's independence. I would highly recommend you to visit the Gateway of India during sunset but also after sunset as it is beautifully lighted in the evening. Right next to the Gateway of India you will find another major historical building, the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. So many Indian national as well as international celebrities have stayed in this hotel. They have these amazing photographs so you can spot all of the celebrities and I spotted Oprah as well as Obama. Next to the phenomenal staff this hotel has the most amazing flower decorations and if you're not staying here i would still highly recommend you to at least have a coffee a dinner or even an ice cream with a view here after the gateway of india and the taj mahal palace hotel you can take a rickshaw or even walk to my favorite place in the whole wide world marine drive <music> Marine Drive is a long boardwalk next to the Arabian Sea that stretches from Nariman Point up to Chopati Beach. Because of the half circle shape, the lights in the night appear to make a necklace. Therefore, Marine Drive is also known as Queen's Necklace. Marine Drive will give you a view on some of the most beautiful sunsets ever. A lot of Mumbaikers come here at the end of the day to simply drink chai, hang out with their friends and family and talk about their day. Marine Drive is literally my favorite place in the whole world. The sense of peace, the relaxed atmosphere, the beautiful sunset, the ocean next to you, it will just give you a special feeling that I personally don't get anywhere else. Whenever I'm in Mumbai, I always make the walk from Nariman Point up to Chaupati Beach, which is about an hour and a half. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but I would highly recommend you to definitely visit Marine Drive. If you are up for it, the Trident Hotel has the most beautiful view on Marine Drive. Having breakfast there with a view on Marine Drive was one of my bucket list items coming true. They also have a view on Marine Drive from the swimming pool area. So if you're not staying at a Trident Hotel, you could also book a day at the pool and enjoy Marine Drive from there. Nearby Chaupati Beach, you will find the Hanging Garden. It took me two years to visit this place for the first time and I have been missing out. I don't want that for you, so that's why I'm telling you about this beautiful place in Mumbai. Another place that I would highly recommend you to visit during sunset because it is simply gorgeous. You can find some beautiful flowers here, sit on the benches and enjoy the bushes shaped like animals. Just like with Marine Drive, it's very hard for me to describe the feeling of peace and content that you will feel from visiting this place. Just go there yourself and experience it. Before we head over to the north side of Mumbai to explore Bandra, Juhu and Andheri, I would recommend you this place as well in the south. It is the Town Hall Library. I wasn't allowed to film inside, 
but if you love historic buildings and books you will love this place as well now i told you the public transportation in mumbai is not very well organized but the slow train is absolutely a must-do experience so the slow train is exactly that it is a slow train if you want to take it from the south side to the north side or the other way around you will have to take the church gate bodywali line a ticket shouldn't cost you more than 10 or 20 rupees but this experience is definitely nothing that has to do with money it is about the things that you will see along the way yes it can get super crowded but if you're traveling outside of rush hours you will have actually a faster way to get from one side to another than by car for a lot of moon bikers this is their daily transportation to work or school there are special carts for the ladies but i had a perfectly fine experience in the normal carts as well <laughs> If you are a church gate station, make sure to get a Tibbs Frankie. The Tibbs Frankie, so kind of like the, the filled roll, is best at church gate station, which is true. I've had it here because that person recommended me to have it here. I've had it and it is absolutely the best Frankie I have ever had. Another way of moving faster between north and south is taking the Worli Sea Link. The Worli Sea Link is a bridge that connects South Mumbai and North Mumbai over the Arabian Sea. Next to saving time, you will be rewarded with gorgeous views of the Mumbai skyline. In order to take the Sea Link, please explicitly tell your taxi driver that you want to take the Worli Sea Link. It is not a given that they will take it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. There is also an extra toll fee for taking the Worli Sea Link, but I believe it's something like 25 rupees. So don't worry about that. It's totally worth it. <music> Another iconic place in Mumbai to watch the sunset and eat some amazing food, Juhu Beach. Juhu Beach is another place in Mumbai where people just hang out in the evening. There is a lot of entertainment, but the biggest entertainment would be the enormous food court. When I visited this place for the first time, I was absolutely amazed because it looks more like a food carnival than just a food court. It is an absolute blasphemy to leave this place and not have some of the foods that they offer here. Actually, I would say completely stuff yourself with amazing street food because that's what this place is for. I completely understand the variety of foods can be overwhelming and therefore I would like to recommend you one dish that you absolutely have to try. That would be Pau Bhaji. Pau Bhaji is a Mumbai specialty. You have to eat it if you're visiting Mumbai. It is very delicious. I explained the dish extensively in my top 10 foods you need to eat in India but over here you can already see a preview it is a vegetarian dish and oh, it is so good I'm already drooling just watching this a dessert that I would recommend you to try is faluda faluda is an extremely sweet drink dessert it is made with milk some jellies and ice cream obviously you have different varieties of flavors over here I have the pistachio saffron flavor and it's it's very sweet Yes. <laughs> if you're worried about food safety, obviously I can understand that. Nothing is guaranteed here, but all I can say is I've had the ice creams, multiple ones, the pav bhaji, and I've never gotten sick. Just check the sanitary conditions of the food stall. And if you don't have a super sensitive stomach, I think you should be good. <music> Now that we're on the topic of food anyway, let me recommend you another amazing food to eat in Mumbai, Pani Puri. I'm gonna get in trouble for this, even though it's my personal opinion, but I do feel that Pani Puri in Mumbai is the best. I've also extensively explained what Pani Puri is in the top 10 India foods video. You can find that one link down in the description below. But for now, you're probably wondering where can I find Pani Puri? So Pani Puri is a street food. You can find it all over Mumbai. But one that I know is for sure good and sanitary is at Tavari Brothers near Juhu Beach. Tavari Brothers also happens to have 
paneer jalebi, which is a dessert made with paneer, so cottage cheese. It is an experience and I would also recommend you to try that one while you're there. And let's not forget about the famous Bombay Masala Sandwich. This is also a street food you can find all over Bombay. Obviously, it is called Bombay Masala Sandwich for a reason because it is also one of Mumbai's most famous specialties. I'll end the food recommendations with a high-end option. It is mad value for money though because the buffet at the Citrus Restaurant located in the Leela Hotel offers so many food varieties that it justifies the price that they ask for the buffet. I think it is 2,500 rupees. The buffet offers many varieties of Western as well as Indian foods and also actually some street foods. So if you have a sensitive stomach and would like a safe option, then the Lila buffet might be a good option for you. <music> I think it's safe to say that Bandra is the hipster and most popular neighborhood in Mumbai these days. Bandra Bandstand is another promenade along the Arabian Sea where you can watch an unforgettable sunset. You'll actually also have a view on the Borley ceiling from this place and Shah Rukh Khan, the famous Bollywood actor, lives here. Near Bandra Bandstand you will find Carter Road which is one of the most popular streets to hang out. You will find amazing restaurants, cafes and cute shops like this popcorn shop that offers a lot of different flavors of popcorn. <laughs> If you want to do some fun shopping in Bandra, you can go to Linking Road or Car Road and this is actually something that I still have to do myself. That's actually one of the many reasons why I absolutely adore Mumbai. It is never boring, there's always something to do, there's always something new to discover. And I hope I've given you a good first impression with this video. Hope you have an amazing time when you go to Mumbai and please let me know other recommendations down in the comments, especially if you're a Mumbaiker, because I also love discovering new things in this city. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy travel and food videos. And if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!